Public speaking is one of the most valuable business skills you can develop. It can create opportunities to advance your career, grow your business, attract new clients, and help you stand out in a crowded field. But as I'm sure you know, many people feel anxious, fearful, or even angry about having to present. They're just not comfortable. Well, I was recently reading online an article from Infogram, and it lists the five top fears of public speaking. Uh, the problem with the phrase, people are afraid of public speaking, that's too generic. What does that mean? Some people will tell you that it's not even public speaking that you're afraid of. What you're really concerned about is public humiliation, especially in front of a group of strangers. What's public speaking? It is a beautiful opportunity to <laughs> humiliate or embarrass yourself in front of a group of strangers. So it's not the speaking that scares you. That aside, there are five fears that are listed on Infogram that we're going to address in these next five videos. Number one, having a shaky voice or loss of breath. Number two, forgetting what you're going to say. Number three, technology issues. Number four, being heckled by your audience. And number five, the audience not laughing at your funny lines or your jokes. Here are five quick tips to help you if this has been an issue for you. Number one is to practice deep breathing before you speak. Uh, there are different methods. There's not one that's right and, and another that's wrong, but I like the four, six, four method. That means you take a breath in for four seconds deep into your diaphragm. Hold it for six seconds and then blow it out for four seconds. I like to do this at least 10 times before I speak. Now, be warned if you do this correctly, you're going to get a little bit of, for lack of a better term, a buzz. I mean, I mean it literally is oxygenating your blood and your brain, and you're going to get a little bit of a high feeling, and that's fine. That'll add to some of your energy right before you speak. The second suggestion is exercise push-ups, jumping jacks, squats, whatever's comfortable for you. Now, you don't want to get to the point where you're out of breath. That's not good. Wouldn't be good to get up on stage and kind of bend over and, hey, I'll be with you in just a minute. Just got to get kind of had a great exercise before I came on stage or came here on camera. You don't want to do that. You want to exercise just enough to burn off some of that nervous energy. The third suggestion is one you're going to hear in other tips. It's practice nothing takes the place of practice. There's no scientific research on the number I'm about to share with you, but I would say 70 to 75% of your nervousness will be handled if you practice so much that you know your material inside and out, backwards and forwards, before you get in front of a camera or you stand in front of an audience. The biggest source of anxiety for people is they're just not sure what they're supposed to say. They're afraid they'll blank out. The fourth idea is to never forget that the audience doesn't know your script. They don't know what you are planning to say. The great contradiction of speaking is that we have to develop the craft, develop our speeches so well that we know the words. We pick the right words, the sentences, the phrases. We know when to pause so that they think about the, the points that we're making. But the contradiction is they're going to forget probably 99.5% of the words we say. But what those words do is generate the right feelings. The fifth and final point is this. Never forget that in the year 2020, when this is being recorded, audiences today are under more pressure, more stress. They've got so much going on that they want you to succeed. When you succeed as a presenter, it means they're getting some type of value. They've got too many other options for their time, their family, their kids, uh, their careers, their work, their social life. They've got all types of entertainment available to them, online, TV, podcast. Nobody sits in front of their computer screen or actually attends a live event hoping that you stink. It just doesn't happen. Remember these five points, take these actions, and that will help you create a more confident voice and deeper breathing, which will help you calm down so you can deliver the best possible talk to your audience.